Greetings everyone. In this video, we will be installing WordPress to our new domain. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So to install a WordPress to a domain, we need to download WordPress. For that, go to wordpress.org. Please remember .org and not .com. So this is the website. Click on Get WordPress and download the latest WordPress version, which is this one at the moment. So the download has been completed. Show in folder. I will keep this on the desktop. You can close this all. Now let's upload this to our server. Click on Upload. Select the file and open it. So this has been uploaded. Let me go back. So here is the file. Right click and extract. And extract files. Reload. So all WordPress files are in this folder. Let me go back. We don't need this zip file. Delete it. Now WordPress has been installed to slash our domain name, that is. Let's learn WordPress.com slash WordPress. So the setup begins, but here is slash WordPress. We do not want to do that. So open the WordPress folder and go to settings and show all hidden files. Save. So all files will be shown. Select all. Move and move it to the main folder. Move files. So it's done. Go back. I will delete this WordPress folder, which is empty. So now go to our website letslearnwordpress.com. This setup page will appear. This part is done. I will close this. Now choose the language and continue. For WordPress to work, it needs a database name, database username, password, host, and table prefix. This is a must for WordPress websites. So now we need to create them. Go back to cPanel. Click on MySQL database. Here we create a new database. Give any name to the database and create. So this database is created. Let me quickly copy the name to the notepad. We have the database name. Now let's create a username. Go back. Scroll down and create a user. You can use the same or any username. Use a password generator or use your own. Copy the password and tick this. Use password and create a user. I will copy the password. So this is the username. So now we have the database username and the password. So this will be localhost host default and prefix you can use anything. Now we have created the database and user. But we need to assign this user to a particular database. Go back. Scroll down. So assign the user to the database we created earlier. So this user can access this database, add, and give all the privileges for this user to this database. Make sure everything is ticked. And click on Make Changes. So all done. Now, let's go. Enter the database. Username. Password. You can change the prefix to anything you want. 
but make sure there is an underscore at the end. I will leave it to default. And submit. If you do not see this, there might be some error in the database details. Now run installation. You can write the site title. Write the username and password to login. And write your email. And install WordPress. So it's done. Click on login and use the same details we used earlier. If we go to our domain, you can see we have installed WordPress. In the next video, we will log in to the website's dashboard and install a theme. Thank you very much.